While Americans debate their immigration policies, the people of the Czech Republic have just welcomed some Iraqi Christian asylum seekers into their country. One of those include a close friend of CBN News, Pastor Majid Cordy. He worked with us in 2014 after ISIS took over much of northern Iraq. And again, just a few months ago, he took us to the front lines of the Kurdish military and to visit refugee camps. I would add that many of these Christian families, like Pastor Majid, they covet prayers for their transition to a new life in an unfamiliar land. Gary Lane has their story. The first of a group of 153 Iraqi Christians arrived in Prague on Sunday. Among them was Kurdish Christian Majid Kurdi and his family. Well, we have come here first to, to uh, provide a secure life for our families and secondly to uh, get a job and doing uh, something here in order to serve the society as well as to take care of our families. Majid Kurdi is well known to this reporter and others from CBN News. In this story from 2014, Kurdi assisted CBN Middle East Bureau Chief Chris Mitchell on his visit to Iraqi Kurdistan. He told Mitchell that ISIS gave the Christians of Mosul three choices. They are not allowed to open their churches, and even if they, they opened, uh, they are going to, to burn the churches. And also, they, the Christians have been asked to pay the tax. If not, they can leave Nineveh, and if they didn't left and they didn't pay the tax, they should give their heads. And now, with his family in Prague, Kurdi says other Iraqi Christians need asylum in the West because they're suffering for their faith. Being a Christian in Iraq means giving your life. And living under the tents and camps in Iraq is something really, really hard for the Christians. And at a time when many Middle Eastern refugees and asylum seekers are being viewed with suspicion in Europe and elsewhere, the head of the Barnabas Fund praised the Czech Republic for opening its doors. I want to pay tribute to the vision of bravery of the Czech Republic government in recognizing that Christians are uniquely targeted and abandoned by the international community. Gary Lane, CBN News.